So right now, this is the first video on the new channel, Timo's Cruise to Mars. There's a lot that I'm gonna go over in this video as well as I'm gonna unpackage some stuff. Some of it I already kind of brought out because I was like, what is this, what is this? If you don't know, on my other channel, I'm a Marine, today's the day I got out. So whatever, I'm a veteran now. Woohoo. Um, on top of all that, I make music, I'm a rapper. It's what I do, but I'm gonna go through the first couple of videos. By the time these are up, I'm probably gonna already have an intro, disclaimers, all that type of stuff. But right now, I'm just gonna show, I think 13 different packages. There's a lot of stuff for us to go through. Some of it too is gonna have its own separate reviews. Like for example, I have some new raw rollers, right? I have the normal one, the black one that's adjustable, and the fatty, which is like fucking massive, as well as the supernatural. Like these jars and stuff, I'll probably do a review on them, for example, but I'm just gonna say, super nice, smell proof, super clean, whatever. The dopest from Dopest Yola. So all that stuff we're gonna review, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of like long intro, blah, 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 but this is my first video that's going up, or one of the first videos, if it's not, because like I said, I might have more by, by now. I'm just gonna start dropping shit, dropping shit. Reviews, I have Blazy Susan. If you don't know what that is, look out for that. Also, uh, someone on Twitter, Instagram called Lil Bun X. She has some stuff. I got my friend and I some stuff because I kind of fuck with it. Mostly for like girls and stuff, but I kind of fuck with some of the stickers and there's some badass rolling trays. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do it. Same with the Blazy Susan, that shit, it's all pink, but like, bro, that shit's dope, man. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I I'm gonna do a whole review and I'm gonna link it eventually. Check that shit out, I'm telling you. Yo, what's up? This is Timo Cruz, your host of Timo's Cruise to Mars. If you're looking for any Cruise to Mars merch from hoodies, polos, jackets, sweatshirts, zip-ups, even shoes, stickers, check out the Etsy right now. First off, we're going to start off with these different, um, it's the jar that I showed you already. It says, superior UV protection. Keeps your herbs fresh for months, right? Smell proof, airtight seal, boom, strong, durable glass. And that's what you want to keep your flower in is glass, um, preferably opaque glass or a ceramic, right? You don't want to keep it in aluminum. I mean, you can. The thing about aluminum is sometimes that flavor kind of comes off and you know what I mean? Even if it's just storage, you never know. So it's just better to have glass. Now you're thinking glass can break, aluminum is just going to bend, it's not too bad. Well, that's the upside of aluminum. Plastic, it's gonna, it's not gonna be airtight, you know, not like, not enough. And it's probably not gonna be painted over either. So ceramic and glass are your best bets and that goes for everything. Uh, ceramic even better if you're using like something that's actually smokable. Yeah, this is my two ounce one. They come with these little bags too, which I don't know how smell proof or anything they are, but pretty sick. They both came with one. And these were separate times I ordered these. There's also another thing I have that comes with this, and it's a holder. I gotta find out where that is, because I have so much stuff here. Uh, so this is the two ounce, this is the one ounce. Super cool. Um, I don't think they come in other colors, but I might be wrong. This is what you want. Put a booster in there, and a little plastic bag, and get one of the raw, we're gonna actually go into it right now, into the raw hydro stones. So, but it's basically a stone made of terracotta. And what they used to do back in the old days was to keep their shit nice. They would take the stone, put water on it, and they would keep it by their flower, right? So they'd soak it a little bit and then keep it by their flower and enclosed. And that's what would keep it super nice. If I can get this bitch out. Oh, it's a little push one. Oh, that's super sick. Okay, so that's why I couldn't get it out. So you push this to get it out. That's actually super sick. Oh, now. I didn't notice that for some reason. But yeah, you take this, boom, it says raw on it. So if you ever see this in someone's weed bag, that's what it is. It's to keep it nice and fresh. And you're like, well, if you have it in the jar, shouldn't it be nice and fresh? Yes and no, it still needs humidity. It's not gonna get like super nasty, moldy, gross, but it's just gonna get dry if you leave it in there. And it's still gonna keep whatever's in there in there. So it's gonna take a while just in that jar alone, probably three to six months, depending on the bud. If you put one of these in there, get it wet, that's gonna keep humidifying it and it can revive your bud from you know, maybe three months ago if you just had it sitting in there, it's gonna keep it brand fucking new. But that's too much, right? You wanna take it out. So what you can do instead is keep this, put it in a bag and put a booster in there. What that booster does, and a booster is just like a little packet thing. I'll kind of show them like find them. A booster basically 
keeps it humid to a certain degree. So it's gonna be like, okay, it's this humid. It's not gonna get more humid than this. Next thing I wanna go into was, none of you have ever seen any of my setup before, so all this is brand new to you. This was the first roller I got, just at the store up here, right? And I knew there was a black one, I wanted a black one because it looks cooler. And um, apparently it's different. So that one I already had, and we're gonna go through, you know, some of this stuff in the future, like different cones, why this is the absolute best grinder there is. This isn't the grinder, it's in here. Oh my God, it's such a good fucking grinder. I'm gonna do a whole review on that. But right now we're just kind of chilling. So this is the same thing, right? It's just adjustable. So you put your weed in here or in your tip, close it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And then open it up, take the weed out and you have a perfectly made like cigarette. And it's giving the other one to my grandparents because this one has the same size and it's adjustable. I'll just give them that one, fuck it, right? Um, they also have two different sizes, like raw does for everything. So raw has basically the normal one and a quarter size and then the king size. So this, on the other hand, is the fatty. Now this ruler is not adjustable. That's just how you open it. And it's that big. So this is probably three to four times bigger than those other ones. This is like a blunt roller or it's definitely rolling more than a joint. This is more than a joint. A super natural. This is the super natural roller. Now, if you don't know what the super natural is, it's 12 inches. Very special papers are required for this. This is when you're at a fucking party and you're trying to get everybody high. It looks like something cool you would just keep on your desk, honestly. This is metal instead of plastic. You would just keep this on your desk. People would be like, what the fuck is that? And then you're like, oh, office party. Put your fucking weed in this bitch. Roll it up. And then what you do is you take one of the supernatural papers. Of course, you can take small king size and put them together if you want to be like that guy, I guess. But that's what this is for. You also don't need this roller to roll these if you're like, I'm gonna just roll myself. Why do I need a roller? But I thought this was super sick because when have you seen a roller that fucking big? When have you seen papers that fucking big? If you're someone who's like new to smoking and smoke like that, you've probably been like, what the fuck is that? Even the fatty, you're probably like, you know. But this is super natural. For spending around less than $50 is 100. So. 100 cones, these are blacks. These are also something I just got in a package, so I'll kind of go over that right now. Um, and if you don't know, these aren't actually the color black. Black just means they're the super, super nice ones. So, these ones are upside down. That's cool. This is that they're the super nice, thin rolling papers. They don't look black, though. They're just a normal rolling paper color. They're still raw, I mean, super nice. Now, these are the normal ones. For some reason, they're opposite ways, but I think it's because these ones come with pokers, so the blacks probably don't, which kind of sucks. This is only 50, right? And you can buy, I think if you want 1,400 cones, you can pay like 90 bucks, or you can get them like 900 for uh, like 70 or 60, something like that. But if you spend like 35, that's what the normal people are getting. Like 100 cones, or if you want to spend like 20, get like 50. So, I'm also gonna go over the raw six shooter in the video, drop it on my shit. But you're saving so much more money. Like, by the time you smoke, every single one of these papers that you spent the money on for, which I mean, a huge pack of these papers, as well as a huge pack of uh, tips versus doing the same thing in cone versus doing the same thing in blunts is a huge difference. So these are raw, they're the king size, they're blacks. So boom. Now this has, there's 50 of these. Each one of these has 32 papers in it. So if you do the math of it, it's literally like you're saving, I was looking for my phone, I'm recording with my phone. But if you do the math of it, you're literally saving so much money. By the time you would smoke, every single one of these 
as well as every single cone. Or I'm, I'm sorry, every single, oh my God, I totally found it. So by the time you smoke every single tip on here, 50 different boxes, and I think the same amount of tips is pretty, I'm not sure, we're gonna see. So there's only one tip, so there's no black tips. The raw, by the time you smoke every single one of these, 50 times 32, right, you do the math. If you did the same thing in cones, blacks are normal, kings are one and a quarter, doesn't matter. By the time you do the same thing from this to buying it in cones, you're spending way more money. And it's really not that, it's it's the fact that this thing's like 15 cents. Buying this whole pack was like 30 bucks, and then with this, another like 10. So I'm spending like less than 50 bucks and that's all I need for literally probably if you're a heavy smoker, if you're smoking like five joints a day, that's going to still be like two and a half years before you're going to get through all this. I did the math and it costed you like 300 bucks. Or I'm sorry, um, it, it saved you 300 bucks or something like that. It, it was like a, a crazy amount for all of them. Like from blunts to cones, the amount of money you're saving is insane. You're saving like $1,200. If you're buying cones the normal way people do, instead of getting a pack that's like a three pack, like buying like this, yeah, it's gonna cost more. But most people don't buy like this unless they're on the go or if they don't smoke that much. But by the time you got to that same amount, you would have spent thousand, over a thousand dollars more on blunts. And nicotine's kind of, eh. and I'm not super like, oh, you have to do this or you don't do this. Smoke whatever the fuck you want, but I'm just saying, long run, you're saving so much fucking money. And if you were to do the same thing with papers and tips and roll it yourself, you got to think, now you're saving an extra, like 600 bucks, because I think it was $1,800 cheaper than blunts if you're rolling them on yourself, right? And then it's like an extra $600 cheaper than getting cones. But you also have to think, okay, but the cones are perfect. I don't have to waste time. You're someone who's super, you know what I mean? The thing is though, is when you roll your own, you're interacting with that material. You're interacting with the blunt. You can roll it how you want it to smoke it. You can put it how little or how much you want in there. So, oh my God, that's mad tips. And this box is filled with them. That is amazing. So yeah, this is basically the shit you would get at the store and put out on your shelf. But. People go back and forth. Sometimes you want cones. If you're having a party, you're smoking a bunch, you're not always gonna want to roll up. But if you have the time to do it, do it. It's gonna save you money, it's gonna save you time. Also, you gotta think about older people too, or people that have different diseases who want to smoke. They can't roll up their own shit if they're shaking or, you know what I mean? So sometimes people do need cones. Sometimes, sometimes people do need a roller or even a six shooter to fill their cones. So think about it. There's different kinds of people out there that need different, different products for different things. And Josh from Raw, Josh Kessler, He's the fucking guy to do it. Um, I'm gonna go over something else really quick. They're hemp wraps. The first ones I'm gonna be trying. Uh, mango and lemonade. And we'll kind of do a review on this brand and everything. Um, so these are better than blunts because it's hemp. You're not smoking nicotine tobacco. You're smoking just hemp. There's blunts, which these are gonna start going away. And then, you know, we're gonna kind of go from there to hemp wraps and then to bud wraps. So, I got two of these before, one for me, one for uh, my friend, and now I have another two. So, oh wait, interesting. So, that raw black pack might have cones in it, because this one has cones in it, or cone uh, kind of packers, right? The little things. So they're in these. And this is a normal pack, but I ordered the same one before, and I, they came in the opposite way. So the cones are like upside down now, they're a different way. It's kind of different, but I like it because before, I was like, fuck, I gotta grab the tip of the cone. Or not the tip, but like the, the, the mouth. And I was like, what the fuck, why can't I, it should be the other way. So these ones are actually cool because they are the other way. And I grabbed them, they were like, man, I'm not trying to get in a rolling machine, fuck that. I was like, I'll get you cones and a cone filler. Fuck it. So I'm gonna go into the cone filler right now. I'm not gonna really show it. Do a review on it. Basically what it is, is there's this little thing, there's a poker here, but also it screws in and it tightens everything down. Now, the cones come out the bottom when you put them in there. You can move this around when it's untightened, so it doesn't move around. 
Um, what you do is this is the top. When you put your cones and you fill up all those spaces, you move it so it only shows one, two, three, or you take it out and then it has all six. When it has all six, you just put your butt in there because it's gonna go everywhere. So put your butt in there. You don't need the top necessarily. And all you're gonna do is hit it like this or hit it on your table. I, I like to use my palm because it's not loud if you're doing it. And also I can see it. But if you're doing it crazy of mad in there, you might want the top. You know what I mean? And then start to look at it. And say, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then what you do is you take this, put it in the bottom, pushes the cones up. That's why the bottom is like that. So it pushes the cones up, so then you grab them, take them, twist them, ready to go. No way. What? That's super sick. I did not know this was coming with this. So if you don't know what this is, Raw makes one of these. It's a grinder card. So you take this and it's a grinder. You put your butt in and, you just, and it grinds the bud like that. That is super sick. I'm putting that straight in my wallet, that. And also I got a new scoop card. I'm putting those both in my wallet. Oh, so this one actually comes with two bags, super dope. Um, here we go. Here's the case. It's smell proof, as you can kind of tell. Um, it has a little handle here. And yeah, here we go. So that makes more sense. I thought I only got another one ounce, but I got two two ounces. And this one's also circular. So this is the two ounce for at home. This is the two ounce for on the go. And it also has a scooper. I don't know why I would have a scooper, but why not? Good products. I like the look. I like the design. This is also padded, so it's not going to break. It's padded, smell proof, lockable. It's two ounces. Why not? Fucking break it. It's fucking sick. <sighs> Shout out to everybody. Raw, fucking the dopest, Lazy Susan, Amazon themselves, uh, Lil Bun X. I'm going to link all this shit if I remember. Hemp Guard, um, of course, mm, uh, MJ Arsenal as well as Hemper Man. And we're gonna get into that shit right now. So this is my first MJ Arsenal piece. If you don't know what this is, MJ Arsenal is a brand that's been around for a little while. And basically they make super tiny little rigs. But the thing about them is not only are they super tiny, super concealable, super easy to use, especially for like smaller people. Like some girls are like, I don't want a big ass piece. I just want a small little fucking thing. Or sometimes you're like, I'm going on the road and I want a little piece and not a big ass piece. So if you're someone who doesn't want a little piece, also they don't cost that much money. Like I think this was like 50 bucks, 80 bucks with all the extras I got all together. This is how big it is. Not that big. On top of that, um, I heard this was definitely worth it. The, the bubble cap. So I got the bubble cap as well as two little, um, the, I think they're, amber um turp pearls super dope yeah these are all mini rigs they have one that's a little bit bigger than the rest of them but this is the one the ursa i heard that like hey, it's fucking amazing super dope super sick i also got another upgrade which is this carrying bag and it's kind of like a little padded bag so apparently it can hold their biggest one which is their titan and this is their best one the ursa like i said so i'm gonna be smoking on it in another video, I'm doing a full review. But right now, I'm just unboxing everything. So in the future, if you're like, yo, I wanna see that being unboxed. Yo, I wanna see that. Then you'll be like, okay, cool. He's gonna have that coming out if it's not already out. And then you can look at it on my channel. And you can also shout out and go look up all the products that I shouted out, whatever, that I used. And you can be like, oh, where did he get that? Awesome, I can go to that one video he showed all that shit. So yeah, why not? I have a turp slurper. It's different from a banger, if you don't know. In a banger, you put it in the bucket and it just, and you take it. But then there's always shit back here, caught, right? You take it out. There's always shit that gets stuck back here and it gets caught. But with this, you put it on the side and it comes down and then down here it burns and then it fucking gets sucked all in. And what you do is you put this marble on top. There's a marble set and you put this little screw kind of straight one in there 
the small ball on the bottom, so it's like a little ball first, then the little fucking screw, or I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's the first little screw thing, then that little ball up here, and that sits in there, and then this ball just sits there on top. And that's kind of like your airflow, but you don't touch it, because all the air comes through the bottom. It's kind of different, right? But you just need to ding, 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 put all those things in, and then you can get different designs of these balls. Now, when it does that, you're gonna be sucking through the device, of course, but it's gonna do that. And this one specifically is called a blender. So if you can see that, instead of it just being flat, like most of them, this one is even an upgraded version. So it's gonna kind of take all that stuff and it's just gonna, instead of it just being like seeping in slowly, it's gonna be, and then it goes in here, that's gonna shake it up. It's gonna go to that ball. It's gonna hit that and nothing's gonna get caught in here. So you're basically not wasting anything. There's no reclaim, none of that bullshit. Literally, this I've heard with half the amount of wax can hit twice as strong. Or maybe that's like a little bit of a hyperbole, but at the same time, it's definitely like gonna hit you stronger and harder than just a normal banger. This is a turf slipper. So I want other options. Um, also, shout out to Exhale, I got a quarter pound, or 114 grams, an ounce is 28 grams. This is a quarter pound. This will fit in two of these, so that's why I got two of them. So shout out to them, it's all Delta 8, ships completely to your door. First order is 20% off, they always have other deals going on. You can get Delta 8, or you can get HHC for flour, for disposables as well. And then there's gummies in like Delta 10, which don't hit quite as hard. And then there's also Delta 9, but it's derived from hemp, so it's different. They have really good brands. They're the best brand out right now. If you get, I believe, one eighth or a quo, or a quarter, quarter fucking ounce, it'll come in a jar. That's a lot of fucking weed. Also, it is Skittles. They have a lot of different strains. Delta 8 has more strains. HHC is cheaper, even though it gets you higher and it's smoother. It doesn't make sense. Until you get to the quarter pound range. Then all of a sudden you're like, wait, what the fuck? It just jumps up. All of a sudden HHC costs more. So I don't know what's up with Exhale. I'm gonna review on this and kind of see what I can gather. But right now, just know I have a quarter pound and I have another couple fucking eighths and some other shit I already had and some pre-rolls from Dopus Yola. And I got the Dopus Yola syrups. So that's gonna be a thing soon. We're gonna be high as fuck. The highest I've ever been. I'm gonna sticker this up. Ooh. So this comes with four or five different little packages. Kind of sick for a little bit of blood. What also comes in here, I'm gonna show you guys. What also comes in here is a rolling tray. That's super dope. So if you lift up the rolling tray, it has a bunch of other shit in here. Comes with a golden dad, so that's kind of cool. Um, a couple different jars. Super dope. It also locks. Awesome. Little one-stop shop for all your butt. This guy, I believe, is the better one. Premium stash box. I want to say this one had better reviews. I don't remember if this is the black one or if I got it the same color. I think they're around the same size. This showing me how to use the lock cool because i'm gonna need to fix that this one is also lockable it smells a little bit better also lockable same type of lock i like that because if it's a key lock i'm gonna lose the key so with this it has more of these storage containers except this is not magnetic it does not come off that's for different wraps lighters whatever i'm guessing and here we go boom premium stash box awesome this has a similar design you can put your pre-rolls in it. Wow. You can put your pre-rolls in here. You can put papers in here in this little paper dispenser. So you just have papers right there. You can have probably for uh, your wrap itself, boom, and that's where you're rolling it. And then I think that's just a grab. I don't know. Um, and then this one, it comes with Another dab tool, black, kind of fuck with that. As well as a mini little cute grinder, kind of cool, kind of fucking awesome. 
I probably won't use it because one, I don't use aluminum grinders, and I doubt that this is stainless steel. Not only do I have these stickers, but I also have these other 100, 100, 200. I think this is like 20, 120, 220 stickers. That's a lot of stickers. That's a lot of fucking neat stickers. This one I'm pretty sure has like The Simpsons and like Rick and Morty and shit. Super stoked with the package. And then this is just whatever else. Who fucking knows. So we're gonna get into it. This is the Trident. This is what I'm gonna use to celebrate. Um, as well as one of those Supernaturals. And I'm gonna trust two different versions of Supernatural. One with the roller and one just trying to roll myself. This, you put three cones in it. So it's called a Trident. It's by Raw. Oh, I'll spit it out. Um, basically, three cones, boom, boom, boom. Crazy. There's one that only has two, and there's another one that has five. This is also gonna be New Year's because 2023, so. Next thing we're getting into here is the dopest. So with the dopest, you have to order it on um, thedopest.com. And that's gonna get everything. This is pre-rolls. I'm gonna do a separate review on every single one of these, I think. And then do like a rating system of all of them. And I'm also gonna smoke them when that's the only thing I smoked that day or the only thing I'm at least high on. And I'll be like, the high lasted this long, the flavor was this good, boom, boom, boom. And then if you wanna see the gelato versus the this, the that, then you can go on different videos. It gives me more content, gets you more guys to look at, gets a little bit more personal. I'm not gonna rip the joints open and be like, well, this is what the flower looks like. That's the one thing I'm not gonna do, but somebody should do that. So maybe if I get another gelato one, I'll do it, open it up and see. I got syrups. Now these are like brand spanking new. These syrups, he came out with a video for the syrups recently. And so the dopest, you get the dopest on a sticker, boom little thing with all the different flavors of their cartridges and shit. And then, thanks for your order with Thomas from The Dopest. Shout out to Dopest Yola, he's a fucking dope ass guy, man. Super sick. First thing I wanna say, these are, oh, the packaging is fucking raw as fuck, look at that. Five hour high. These are 200 milligrams each. There's three flavors out, two that you can get on the website right now is, you know, when this video's out. So this one is orange. Story time orange. This is your blue raspberry. They have another one that's green and it's watermelon, but it only is gonna be in their HHC box from Hella High Club. And then eventually they're gonna offer it later, I guess, on the website. I'm gonna do a day where I drink these. Just one, try, and maybe I'll order more and just be like, I'm gonna drink 10 of these, a thousand milligrams of liquid. That's gonna fuck me up. These ones, like I said, I'm probably gonna do different days or at least be, I'm only high off this. I'm not smoking every single one and comparing them, but I'm gonna do a separate video on each one. Or maybe I shouldn't, but I got Peanut Butter Breath, Skywalker OG, and Trainwreck. Before I show you guys the Flower Milo, I'm gonna take a hit from the Zaza um, or the Z Bar. I'm gonna kind of review this too. I have another brand new one. I'm gonna do another video. This is basically something super sleek, super cool, super nice. Delta 8 pen. This is cereal milk, my favorite strain ever. Green Crack's also like really fucking good. And they have a bunch of different flavors. AK-47, Green Crack, cereal milk. Bunch of different shit. I think they have like purple fish and monkey and shit. <coughs> so this right here is the Flour Mill Premium Grinder. There's a couple different versions. Recently they brought out one that's tiny. Cool but it's aluminum. And then they have the version that's the same size as this, but it's aluminum. This is the premium version because it's stainless steel. You might be like, I've never heard of this grinder. What is it? Basically, it has no teeth in there. You might be like, why? It mills it, it goes through here. It doesn't even keep the stems. It takes the stems out for you and they get stuck in here. I shit you not. And there's three different colors. You're like, why is it rose gold? Cause I got it fucking rose gold. There's also like an aqua blue and just a cool space gray kind of one. So you do this, if shit gets stuck in here, there's a thing literally, and watch how easy this is to take off. It's literally a corner, a quarter turn. Oh my God, super sick. See how much room there is in there? That's literally so much fucking room. So you take this out and that's where your fucking material goes, right? Fucking bud, bro. Look at this. I don't gotta sit there and I just, oh my bud. Let's roll some more. That's it. 
Now, why you might want this is for a couple reasons. One, it's super premium, super fucking nice. If shit gets stuck in here and you can't open it, you use that to take it off. That's how you do it. And you can buy more of these if you lose them on their website. This is so fucking amazing. Shout out to Cupins, because he's the one that got me into this shit. You can also change this out and change the screen to make it more coarse or more fine. It is an add-on charge, but this is the perfect size anyway, I'm telling you. Another reason you might want this is because it grounds up bud like that, and it grounds up to, with all the space it saves, 3.5 grams. 3.5 grams is an eighth. This can fit in here and be ground without picking out any stems. These are actually mini, mini rolling trays. I thought they were bigger, not gonna lie to you. But this is from Lil Bun X. So, boom, check her out. She, I found her on uh, Twitter. It says, thank you, Timothy. Super cute, super dope, I love that. You know that she does every single order. So, what I ordered was a Halloween theme, which I don't think she's restocking, but it's a Halloween theme tray. And these are a lot smaller, but like I said, I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger, like probably just a little bit longer, like kind of the one I have in the back that's like this big, it's like two of them. And then there's like the huge ones at the house, which is like two of those. But this is still cool. Now, even though this is kind of like a girl grinder, I'd say, just the fact that it says my soul smells like weed is what sold me on it. And I was like, I need that. So now it's like, I have a cool little travel grinder in a way, even though I use a cookies one that has a top on it. That's really my travel grinder. This is a backup grinder, why not? And I got this as well. Two different ones, one for me, one for my friend. These are actually really fucking heavy. Two of these, right? The, like I said, these are a little more girly, but I don't give a fuck. My soul smells like we totally sold on that. Look at how fucking dope that is. It's also adorable. And bro, if you're a dude that's like, I don't want some girl ass stickers, bro, fuck you. That shit says my soul smells like weed. You can tell me that ain't cool. Plus a girl's gonna see that and be like, yeah, that's kind of cute, but my soul smells like weed. Or who fucking cares, bro? I'll still beat the fuck out of any of you. Like, literally. Who the fuck are you gonna see? So, this one's Wake and Bake. I love it. The coffee and the fucking, you know, little shit. Here's, yeah, coffee. Oh my god, that's fucking dope. Now, my brand obviously is about aliens and smoking, and that's what this is. So, I fucking, of course, love that shit. I had to get that. I don't give a fuck if he looks like a little, like, weirdo. Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. It just looks like. Um, so this one's super dope. It says, don't let the smoke out. That's kind of dope. So I don't give a fuck, man. If people are going to say some bullshit, suck my dick because I don't give a fuck. This shit's cute. And one day I'm going to have kids and they're going to see that and be like, wow, dad isn't trying to be this fucking weird, crazy, hard guy. He's, he's just a fucking dude. He's just a person. He just likes shit that's cute sometimes. And he likes cool stuff. Even if it's kind of for girls, it's not like, oh my god, it's too girly. I can't wear fucking pink. Like, I don't give a fuck. This is a blazing season. So, basically, it spins. Now, you might be like, why does it spin? Because, I don't know why it's making that noise. But, it spins, bro. So you can literally put your dab mat here and you're gonna have that in the middle, which is gonna keep whatever you have in there, your rig, your bong, whatever. Then you have these pads. So then you will take these, and these also come out in different colors, but instead of going with red everything, I wanted the pink ones. This is an ashtray. This is to clean out your ashtray. Super simple, super sick. Boom. What? Now, there's also another thing I got. And this is for your dabs. If you're the guy who's doing dabs off here and not just bong hits, you want this. And if you're doing bong hits, you want that. If you're the guy that's doing bows, would you get both? So. There. You put all your shit there for all your dabs, or if you're smoking onto the bong, then you would use that guy. Dabs, bong, 
You keep it over here. You keep your phone here, stand it up, pre-rolls, papers, um, fucking grinders, different places to roll, different places for everything. Oh my fucking god, this is dope. I was thinking I need a picture of this and I couldn't. So that's the Blazy Susan. I'm gonna do a review on this later too. And yeah, like I said too, guys will see it and be like, yo, that thing's sick, just because of function. And girls will be like, yo, it's pink, it's cool. And then at the same time, I'll be like, well, pink's the normal color. I also want this red juice, why the fuck not? You can get it in really nice wood finishes too. And that's the fucking dopest shit I've ever fucking seen. So this is gonna be the end of the unboxing video. I have even more shit that came, being my own merch. Um, it's kind of more of apparel than merch necessarily. Um, more of the dopest shit. Bunch of stuff we're gonna review and open up, unbox on its own, as well as just smoke, try it out, let you guys know what is it like, is it smoking good, what do I rate it, everything from uh, one to 10. And we're gonna do that soon. So those videos are gonna be dropping like every single day now. I think I'm gonna have about 15 to 20 videos or something dropping every single day as soon as the first video comes out. And then after that, we'll probably try to do one like every week or two every week or something like that. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, that's it for this one. Do all that YouTube shit if you wanna like, dislike, comment, subscribe. Leave the bell notification. You can always unsubscribe if you feel like it. But yeah, man, check me out. And if you liked it, Go ahead and, you know, show some appreciation. If you disliked it, go ahead and show some hate, man. I don't give a fuck.